Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So certain beneficiaries of Social Security are going to receive checks worth up to $4,873 tomorrow. We're going to be going over who is going to be receiving those payments. Plus, according to one outlet, Donald Trump is getting burned and will continue to get burned on Social Security. We're going to be going over why they are saying that and why, in my opinion at least, is actually going to end up hurting Joe Biden much more in the end. But before we go ahead and dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $10,000 in free stocks or $10,000 in free cash in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Moomoo. All you have to do is once you click on that link, it's just sign up for a free account and then deposit at least $100. At that point, Moomoo will be sending you at least five free stocks worth all the way up to $10,000. And once again, if you'd really just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive those free stocks, it's just sell them for what they're worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our lead story of today's video, and that involves Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Of course, he is going to be running for president against both former President Donald Trump and the current president in Joe Biden, whether or not he actually has a chance to win. We will be covering in just a minute, but of course, he hasn't actually exactly announced who his VP is going to be. There has been a lot of speculation, but yesterday it was uncovered by one journalist uh, just because of a domain that was registered online of who probably his VP is going to be. So according to News Nation, RFK Jr. reportedly pursuing Nicole Shanahan as his VP pick. So according to News Nation, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is planning to announce Nicole Shanahan as his running mate for his independent presidential mid, Mediate reported. Mediate uncovered what they say is the domain registration of KennedyShanahan.com, indicating active fundraising efforts with a live donation page. The domain was registered by Link Lipsitz, a senior advisor to Kennedy, Mediate reported. Kennedy will be on News Nation's Cuomo Monday night. Nicole Shanahan is a California attorney and entrepreneur previously married to Google co-founder Sergey Brin. The move comes after Aaron Rodgers, the NFL quarterback once under consideration, has been ruled out, citing concerns from campaign donors. Now, who exactly is Nicole Shanahan? As they just mentioned there, of course, she is a former lawyer. She's the former wife of Sergey Brin, the Google co-founder. She's an entrepreneur. And also, if you didn't know, back in the Super Bowl, of course, RFK Jr. had the advertisement that uh, took place. It would cost $4 million. Uh, who funded that? Well, it happened to be Nicole Shanahan. So a lot of people are saying, well, he's probably only picking Shanahan because she has money and is going to help him uh, run his campaign. You definitely need money if you want to become the president of the United States. You're not going to become the president, even with the best ideas, if you're poor, certainly. So uh, it probably definitely is playing a factor here. And of course, uh, she's a little bit more on the left. If you look at her Wikipedia, it shows that she donated money uh, in the last election to Pete Buttigieg. And then whenever uh, Biden was selected as the Democratic nominee, I believe she donated around $25,000, at least according to her Wikipedia page. So she is definitely a little bit more on the left. Not sure whether or not that's going to help Kennedy or hurt him. But according to recent polling, obviously in a hypothetical matchup of Trump versus Biden versus Kennedy, according to real clear politics, Trump is definitely going to be at an advantage here by an average lead of four points. And according to the most recent poll by Harvard Harris, he's actually up as much as seven points. But Kennedy actually does get some points here in the uh, the Quinnipiac poll there at the at the bottom. He is getting 22 points, so he's definitely not getting blown out of the water, but he is definitely losing. But let me know in the comment section below, in this hypothetical matchup, is there any way possible you're actually going to be voting for Kennedy instead of Trump or Biden just to have someone different? But and if you're not going to be voting for Kennedy, let me know in the comment section below if you plan to vote for Trump or Biden or perhaps write in someone else's name. Now, in, as far as the main topic of today's video, of course, tomorrow there's going to be payments landing for certain beneficiaries of Social Security up to $4,873. We're going to be covering who in this article by The Sun. So according to The Sun, COLA Social Security 2024 updates millions to get automatic 4000 
$873 checks in just hours. See the full payment schedule. So COLA beneficiaries who were born between the 11th and 20th of the month will get their checks on March 20th. Those with birthdays after the 21st of the month will collect their payment next week, next Wednesday on March 27th. Recipients with a birthday between the 1st and the 10th of the month already got their money on March 13th. The maximum COLA amount for this year is $4,873 and the average amount paid is $1,907. 2024 payments are $58 higher on average than the benefits sent out in 2023. So once again, the average this year is right around $1,900. Of course, the max payment is going to be $4,873. And once again, those payments are going to be sent out tomorrow on Wednesday with the final payment in March going out the following Wednesday on the 27th. Now, moving on to some other news involving Social Security, we have some you know, political strategists saying that uh, Trump's recent comments on CNBC involving Social Security is going to burn him and going to continue to burn him, at least in some of those swing states as we approach the November election. So according to The Hill, former President Trump's remarks about cutting Social Security have given a major opening to President Biden while underscoring how the entitlement program has become a third rail in politics. Trump in a CNBC interview said, there was, quote, a lot you can do in terms of entitlements, in terms of cutting. His campaign quickly clarified that the former president only wants to cut waste, but his initial remarks created sound bites Biden will use against him from now until November, and that Democratic congressional candidates will also seize upon. Barrett Marson, a GOP strategist in Arizona, said the ambiguity of Trump's latest comments might blunt their impact. He said, quote, but in some ways that doesn't matter because it's on tape and the Trump campaign will have to spend time and money to refute that, he said. Arizona has the highest retiree population among 2024 swing states in a Biden-Trump rematch, underscoring its importance. But it could also be a big factor in a number of other places, said Alex Conant a Republican strategist and partner at Firehouse Strategies. He said, quote, most of the voters are going to be older and either currently on these programs or set to get these programs in the next decade or so, he said. So I would say they're going to be important everywhere. Now, obviously, that's very important. I'm sure Biden is definitely going to use this clip that Trump said on CNBC that he's open to cuts, you know, whatever. He can kind of say whatever he thinks that Trump meant in that situation. That's definitely, you know, it's what polit politicians have done for decades now. They've, cause they've clipped out different sound bites to use it in their advantage. But at the end of the day, I mean, Trump can do exactly the same thing because there have been clips in the past where Biden has pretty much said exactly the same thing. So we need to be looking at raising the full retirement age, cutting Social Security benefits, that everything should absolutely be on the table. So Trump can use exactly the same clips like Biden plans to, like in these clips that you're about to see up on the screen. Senator, we have a deficit. We have Social Security and Medicare looming. Would you consider looking at those programs, age of eligibility, absolutely. cost of living, put it all on the table? The answer is absolutely, you have to. I mean, you know, it's the, one of the things that my, you know, the, the political advisors say to me is, whoa, don't touch that third. Look, the American people aren't stupid. It's a real simple proposition. Social Security is not the hard one to solve. Medicare. That is the gorilla in the room. And you've got to put all of it on the table. So again, at the end of the day, Trump can definitely use clips like these in his advantage against Biden if Biden decides to use these clips against Trump. So at the end of the day, it could really just end up hurting Biden just as much as it's going to be hurting Trump. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you trust more to be the next president of the United States, whether it's on Social Security or anything else? Let me know in the comment section below. Trump or Biden? Are you team Trump or are you team Biden? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's all we have for today's video. I certainly hope you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you in the next video.